it's even more crucial to think that the reason for the arrest and detention unlawfully was because of words that one spoke. Now, incidentally, again, our president, when he was attorney general, championed the um, more or less revocation of the criminal libel regime and made it no more criminal for people to be imprisoned for the words that they say and for the things that they write and to leave it only within the realms of civil, civil law and not criminal law. So if you look at the circumstances under which Fadi was detained and the efforts that was made to keep him in detention, one would think whether the security agencies are really there for the maintenance of law and order. And I had cause to speak on a motion on one of the Joy FM third platforms about whether or not we should continue to maintain BNI as a security agency. Of course, myself and the Honorable in Krabi Fadate took a position that BNI had a lead if its, its usefulness. And we advanced arguments for it. And one of the arguments in favor of that, well, it just became an avenue more or less for debt collection. So somebody owes you and the person is not paying, you can actually go to the BNI and they can chase you. Now we are talking about intelligence gathering. Gathering of intelligence so that people show up here and say, I'm a BNI officer. Now that's not how spies operate. They don't announce themselves. And you have people just show up and then they pick somebody in a Rambo style and say, Look, I mean, yeah, yeah, we are in power. Now that for me is scary. Not scary for just Fadi, but for all of us, because any of us can be a victim of such Rambo style, you know, arrest. Mm -hmm.